Hi everyone, it's Maive, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be making a miniature version of Beauty and the Beast's Enchanted Rose from Polymer Clay. All the materials with links to where you can find them will be in the description. For the stem I used a head pin in an antique bronze colour, but you can also use a ball pin or a piece of wire. I press the head with flat nose pliers to make it even smaller. To make the rose I mixed polymer clay in red and translucent. Add a little bit of liquid clay on top of the head pin and add a small ball of clay. Then bake it for 10 minutes. Baking it will make it easier to add the petals. To make the petals you want to cut lots of tiny pieces of clay, roll them into bowls and flatten them. To pick them up you can slide a blade underneath. To make the fallen petals I press them against a sponge using a ball tool but you can also use a makeup sponge. I did the same for the first few petals on the rose to keep them closed. Add some liquid clay on the baked clay before adding the petals so that they stick. Now you can add more petals and use a ball tool to shape them once on the rose or pinch them gently with your fingers. If the clay is not sticking you can add more liquid clay. Add as many petals as you want and sepals as well and bake again for 20 minutes. To bake it you can push the wire through a ball of tin foil to act as a base. I bought this set of glass dome and base online, I'll leave some useful links in the description. After measuring the rows inside the dome you want to bend the wire with pliers and trim the excess. I then spread Fimo liquid inside the base to add a disc of brown polymer clay and used a ball tool to press it down and create an uneven surface. Leave a small gap between the clay and the edge of the base so that you have space for the dome. Make sure the dome fits and remove more clay if needed. Press the wire into the clay and cover the gap with a small amount of the same colour clay.
Check that the dome fits again and bake the rose and fallen petals for 10 or 15 minutes. To make the leaf I rolled one side of a small ball of green polymer clay to get a teardrop shape and flattened it. I added detail with a needle tool and picked it up by sliding a blade underneath. Place the leaf on the stem bonding with liquid clay. Bake it one last time. Once baked and cool, I painted the stem and added details with acrylic paints. To give the rose a more magical look, I glazed it and while the glaze was still tacky, I added some white glitter dust on the edge of some petals. Next I spread glue on the brown clay to add moss. I pressed the moss onto the glue and once the glue had dried I removed the excess. Remember to leave a gap for the dome. Here's when I realised I had forgotten to add sepals underneath the petals, so I quickly added them and baked the rose again, but ideally you want to do that either when you make the rose or add the leaf. Now you can glue the loose petals on the moss. Then glue the dome in place. Some dome sets come with caps that you can glue onto the dome and turn it into jewellery. And your enchanted rose is complete. I really hope you liked this tutorial, I loved making this rose and I'd love to make it in all sorts of colours. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, have a crafty weekend and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Ciao ciao!